Hey, hey everybody, Vex Joel from Barefoot Bushcraft here again today. I'm just out in the shed at the moment. I want to do another metal project, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing, so just looking for a nice bit of steel. Oh, hang on. There's one. I remember this. This is a piece that my brother-in-law gave me. This is actually stainless steel. So let's grab this one and see what we can do with it. Shall we begin? Rightio. For my next little project, I've decided to do this little Tanto style knife. I know it's not a real Tanto, hence the Tanto style. So, the first thing I did was I got this bit of steel, put it onto the piece of paper like this, traced around it, and then we can do our blade design onto it. I've decided to go for an 18 centimetre long blade, and a 12 centimetre long handle, but the tang's only going to be 10 centimetres long. Uh, this part here, I was going to do a little bit of texture work onto, and I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to have a ham on yet. We'll sort of just see how it goes. So the next thing after that, was I took the bit of steel and I drew the pattern onto it, and then the very next thing is, let's go see if we can hack this out with a hacksaw. I will be doing a handle and sheath for it, just like the other knife, out of a bit of wood, but I'm not entirely sure what piece of wood I'm going to use yet, so onto the blade first.
And there we have it. One Tonto style training blade. It's like very, very shiny at the moment, so it's hard to get a nice shot for you. That's not too bad of a shot. You can see I've got the false hammer line thing going down the bottom there. And the nice bit of texture up the top. It's nice and bumpy. I've even got that on the spine there as well, if you can see it. So yeah, this is the first blade that I've actually ever made. So that being said, I think it turned out looking pretty cool. I'm still very, very new to this whole metalworking thing. So yeah, it's all practice and with practice you always get better. Now I haven't actually made the handle and the sheath for this yet. I might do that on a different video just because I think this video has probably gone on long enough and also I haven't actually found a bit of wood for it yet. So that's the next thing is looking for a bit of wood. Oh, I should also mention that I've rounded off the blade part of it, made it really, really smooth so when you're training with it and if you accidentally slip or whatever, it, it wouldn't matter. So as always, thanks for watching everybody and I'll catch you on the next one.